JK was widely admired for his business acumen and success, for his integrity and for his charity. I mean, he was really a pioneer in the charity area here. Joseph Kernan Weckbaugh was the grandson of Denver businessman and philanthropist J.K. Mullen. Well, my father was the first generation of many to be born in St. Joseph Hospital in April 20th, 1908. He had one sibling, sister, Eleanor, who was uh, quite the news item in Denver for many, many years, had a lot of parties. She was big in putting Central City back on the map. He was really educated by the Catholic Church. He had been accepted to Princeton and really never got to go because he came down with tuberculosis. And so he had the perfect place to unfortunately fight this disease, but he did successfully fight it. Jay Kernan started his career at the J.K. Mullen Investment Company in 1929. The career in banking is preceded by the career that uh, World War II, when he was championing the U.S. forces by forming and maintaining the USO in the state of Colorado. He eventually started the First National Bank of Inglewood. J.K. really was a pioneer in the banking business. He started something called First Colorado Bank Shares, which was the first bank holding company in this region. He did it and did it really, really well. He gave back to his people. He loved his people. And he would bring a turkey to every single bank employee in all four banks every Thanksgiving and personally hand them at the front doors. He was instrumental in helping to bring Braniff Airlines to Denver, honoring a personal request from Mr. Braniff himself. J.K. not only was a great businessman, but was very involved in the community. Uh, one of his accomplishments was bringing Junior Achievement uh, to Colorado. And now, 70 years later, Junior Achievement has taught over two million kids as a result of that one man's effort. He also founded Blue Cross Blue Shield and the Community Chest, which eventually became the United Way. He also was uh, a major contributor to a number of universities, including DU, including Regis. A strong believer in education, he created private scholarships for those who could not afford their own tuition. He perpetuated what his grandfather had started. He was president of the J.K. Mullen Foundation and the Weckbaugh Foundation, and part of the Archbishop's Committee working with Catholic Charities. I was, to some degree, a minor competitor of his, and, uh, and he didn't hold it against me. <laughs> so, I mean, he really was a charitable, fine human being. He would be amazed, if not stunned, to see the uh, effect, the long-term outcomes of what he started. Jay Kernan-Wekba is a star in the history of this great state.